Automation is a hot topic in UK manufacturing today. I'm here in St Neots at Cambridge Precision where they've invested recently in Mill CNC's automation, their Doosan Cobots. So Andrew, what prior knowledge of the Cobot market did you have before this installation? Um, we didn't have too much knowledge of a Cobot. Um, we actually visited Mills to look at a different machine um, and we saw this running in the background. Um, we then investigated it further, did some research, thought this actually might be quite a good idea for us um, to run some of the smaller, longer batch components. Um, yeah, and we um, obviously looked into which, all the different types you could get, different payloads, different length of reach, um, and we finally decided on the one, one behind you. And this particular machine that we've got here, which is the Doosan DNM 6700, why was the Cobot selected to go on this particular model? Um, we already had this machine um, running in our main milling workshop across the road. It was our newest machine at the time, um, with the five-axis table on, basically giving us capability of doing all types of work. And when you look at the Cobot itself, from a programming perspective and a, uh, an operator's perspective, was it easy to get to grips with? Uh, yeah, it was. I think I had about a day's training. Um, I've had basic knowledge of different types of programming, um, obviously machine tools, etc. before. So yeah, it was quite good, Qu quite easy, quite straightforward. Um, obviously you learn the little, little tricks as you go along as anything, um, but yeah, it's good. The Cobot is loading and unloading components at the moment. Can you provide an overview, Andy, of exactly the process? Yep, so at the moment it is waiting for the cycle to complete. The doors will then open automatically. The robot then receives a signal saying the doors are safely opened. It will then go into the machine and grip the part that is in the vise. The vise will then open. The robot will then move out of the machine, place the part back where it got it from on the bench. It will then move into position, pick up the next part. It will then move back into the machine and place that part into the vise which will then again automatically close. And once that has happened, it will again move out the way. And once it's registered, it is out of the way of the door, the door will close and the cycle will start again. Mill CNC, you've had a long-standing relationship with them. Yep. Was, was that uh, an impact or a factor in your decision? Um, yeah, that was probably the main decision um, why we went with Mills for a Cobot. Uh, we just thought it'd be a lot easier to integrate one of their Cobots with one of their machines and choosing a different make. And with robots in machine shops, there's often uh, sometimes concerns about the health and safety element, um, how, they, how, how you can cooperate with them as an operator. How does the Doosan Cobot overcome some of those concerns? Um, yes, yeah, so the Doosan Cobot has built-in torque sensors, so if you do happen to be in the way of it while it is moving, it will stop. Um, as you can see, we have no fixed guarding, um, so that obviously makes, for us, space was an issue. Um, which, which doesn't come into play really with this sort of thing.